Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to start with a brand new project, which is going to be bird classification using PyTorch. Okay. So as you can see, this is the front page of the data set that we'll be using. So um, obviously this is the, this link will be given in the description below. Okay. So uh, this particular uh, project uh, has uh, 525 species of birds that we have to classify. So there are 84,635 train images, which means that we have good enough size data set. As you can see, it's 2 GB of data set, which is considered standard. Then there are 2600 something around uh, test and 2600 something around in validation images and each image is 224 cross 224 cross 3 which means these are standard size images okay so i'm not getting getting into all of these about data set you can read everything is just standard i want to say and you can see 2.11 gb of data and i also have uh, what to say the uh, code written so we will look into that but let's over here you can go and let's try to see certain images okay so let's say uh, we take the bot bobby okay and let's try to look at this particular image so you can see this image is there this is 224 cross 224 okay um let's pick up some different bird let's say we go over here and um, let's say we take the american robin okay and let's see the image over here uh, you can see this is american robin so basically every you can see uh, folder has 164 193 so rough around 150 to 250 images okay a uh, little bit more in there uh, more or less it is uh, the same okay so let's look at the code don't worry we will be i'll be just showing you the code over here we will be coding it line by line in the videos that will be coming so you don't have to worry okay so uh, basic imports that we are doing and after that um, don't worry this is just you know a overview of what we are going to do okay it's not a code uh, session also again just paths you can see one image that i have uh, shown over here uh, out of all the images which is taken over here randomly this is one of the uh, this is uh, you know we have taken a random image from the entire training data set this is just a random image okay uh, <clears throat> then certain parameters uh, i will also be talking about a uh, little bit of augmentation and uh, the pre-processing that needs to be done we will be talking about the you know this is the best way of uh, actually using a data loader in uh, pytorch where you have uh, we'll be talking about this in the Maybe in the next video that why we are doing this, why we are having image folder and not a custom data set. There are a lot of things that we need to talk about. Then we are instantiating the data loader over here, uh, different data loaders for train, val, test, everything. Okay. Then we are using the ResNet model. Now, obviously, if you want this to be trained from a custom CNN, it will take time and everything. I'm going to show you how to get a 90 plus percent result. Uh, you know, uh, with, with using a very sm small model, let's say it's only 44. Uh, MB model, which is not that big. Okay, um, we will be doing certain uh, things with regard to the model. I'll be discussing that in the uh, next video. Okay, and uh, optimizer I've used Adam. You can try anything cross entropy loss. Why? Because we are doing multi class classification. So you can see the training loop is quite big. Don't worry. I will, you know, we will change the code a little bit in the next video where we'll be coding from scratch everything. Uh, that time I'll try to make a smaller. Uh, to say your um, codes over here okay um, obviously you can see the in the start the loss is 0 0.029 which has reduced to 0 0.003 which means we have reduction and the training accuracy obviously in the start was only 50 percent but we end up at 93 percent and same thing for the validation accuracy we start with 81 percent and end at almost 90 percent over here you can see which means here a little bit of overfitting has happened but don't worry we always save our models for every epoch which means we are getting almost 90 percent validation accuracy which is good okay you can see the plot of the train loss it is decreasing and you can also see when the validation loss has decreased which means our model is doing very good and let's say what uh, let's see what we get in the testing accuracy i think it is over 90 percent yes you can see it's 94 percent okay which means our model is doing really good yes i will uh, in the next images you know in the next videos when we'll be doing uh, coding from scratch i'll be displaying and showing you the results and more images how they are being classified and everything but uh, this was basically an overview of what we are going to do in the next videos okay so yeah um you know the next video is going to come out i think i'm going to record it after this but uh, uh yeah so please like and subscribe uh, if you like the video thank you very much and bye